Today we're gonna to work on a new project. It's the, uh, your propane tank. As you guys know, on an RV, uh, the propane tank door is never locked because there is a law stating that you can never lock your, your propane tank door. So over the years, your propane tank is gonna rust out, it's gonna rust, and you wanna renew it to look like, you know, brand new again. So on Tim Rover, what I'm gonna do is um, renew and rebadge the um, propane tank by using some simple tools that we have here that I'll kind of go over real quick. Um, you have two types of um, tape you see here. You might wonder why I have two types of tape. Well, you got tape that's designed for um, metal and um, painted wood and glass. You have tape that's designed just for um, like latex paint on a wall. And I kind of made notes of it about non-metal here and I have painted wood here and metal. You also can tell the difference between the difference because this, this blue tape here, the same brand, has markings on the, this one here as well but it says exterior. So from there we're going to use some simple green. Of course yeah, I like my simple green. You're going to use safety glasses, some paint brushes that you want to discard, some old clothes that you see what I have here, and I'm going to use some paint. Uh, on Tim Rover, I had, they had some um, like a grayish paint, but I'm going to use a gloss almond color. You can use whatever you want, but try to stay in a bright color where people can know what you have. Even the gray, you can even restore with that again. It might be a law of the kind of paint you might need, but in my case, I'm going to use this gloss I'm almond here. I'm going to wipe this here down, but I'm going to make sure that propane is turned off make because I used that last night. I'm going to remove the regulator cover and you want to hold on to this, the little um, tabs here for the cover for the regulator. So I'm just going to pop those out like so and remove this cover. The um, regulator cover rem removed and I'm not going to paint this here. I'm going to just put this to the side. I'll wash it up and clean it up a little bit. So my next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this all down with my simple green. As you can see that I cleaned it all off. And you see there's some rust spots on this um, Manchester tank here. I'm going to use my dull um, razor blade here. I'm going to just try to chip away at any kind of pieces of paint that might be just the residue. I'll continue to take this paint off here. As you can see that I'm taking off the old paint just by using the end of the um, blade here. So I'm just removing all of the paint droppings on here that just loose. I'm not doing any kind of major scraping because like I stated before, you're just getting the loose paint off. That's all you're doing. You're not trying to do a total um, sand down or grinding this stuff off. Just getting the loose stuff off. And um, that's all you gotta do. So I'll come back and I'll show you what our next step we're gonna be doing with the um, taping of the different joints and what we don't want to get paint I had on. two different types of ta um, tape. This 3M tape here. Exterior tape that is designed for metal and glass and painted wood. And this tape here is designed for um, non-metal as such as like painting the bedroom um, to fill off the different edges for different types of um, colors. So I'm going to use this non-metal um, tape. I'm going to cover up this Manchester tank and equipment company tank um, sticker as well as this ANSI sticker and this fuel sticker and a vapor sticker. I'm going to salvage these four stickers here with this non-metal, keep that in mind folks, non-metal um, 3M tape. This way when I take it off once it's painted it won't pick, pull up the um, sticker itself. Well, as you can see here, I got the um, four um, different decals covered up with non-metal tape. The next part of this puzzle, I'm going to cover up all the metal parts that I don't want to get um, paint on.
Finally got the um, covering on, all the connections. I don't, I don't want to get paint on it. And now it's all clean. It's you know, nice to the touch here. Got the almond color paint here that I'm going to be using. Paint. Some nice brush, light brush strokes here. And I'm not too concerned about the color because what happened over time, this is going to change colors anyway just because of um, sun bleach and just natural degree, natural um, de decoloration, I should say. I'm going to let this here cure. When I come back, I'm going to peel off the um, exterior tape as well as the um, paper tape to show you guys how it look um, after it's all finished and done. We're with the um, decals and all that good stuff. I finished up the paint. It looks a lot cleaner, a lot neater. I used Rust-Oleum paint on here and I repurposed the stickers that was on here before. Removed the um, tape, the ex exterior tape as well as the paper tape that I was using. And I rebashed it with a few other stickers. And basically these are just the stickers that I ordered um, off eBay. And what I'll do, I'll put a link in the description below, including the paint that I use. You can try a different color, maybe a, a darker color, like a gray if you want to. Um, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll bring another episode of Tim Rover um, RV, do-it-yourself products, tips and ideas. You guys take care and have a great day. Bye.